All right, good evening, folks. Sorry, uh, this is probably like the millionth take on this video because I'm trying to figure out the um, camera angles, and I know I haven't posted in a very long time, so sorry again. I've just been very busy with school. And so today, I have a very special lock for you guys, and this is a Sobo lock. That's what it looks like right here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful lock, very well made. It is made in China, and I am very happy to be an owner of it. I purchased this in Hong Kong for 80 Hong Kong dollars, so that is approximately 12 Canadian, something like that. And uh, if you take a look here, Sobo. It says 100% versatile key proof. I'll explain that in a moment. It has also 100% saw and crowbar proof, 100% drill resistant, and interestingly enough, it is manufactured apparently for the Sobo International Company for Canada. But I have never seen this while I was in Canada, so I have no idea what's going on, but it's really interesting. Um, another thing that we found here, it says 100% versatile key proof. Again, this one in Chinese, it means Ba Hao Si. So Ba Hao Si is also master key. And um, it just, uh, usually when we say Ba Hao Si, like master key is usually something to do with child keys. And uh, and especially in Hong Kong and China, it has to do with bump keys and also... Uh, you know, the cheap uh, tools that you get online, you know, that kind of cheap uh, lockpick tools you see against versatile keys and lockpicks, but uh, it is very resistant against it, most definitely, but it is not 100% um, hundred percent impossible to actually pick these locks. So, we're going to go ahead and try to make this work. So, here's a Sobo lock. Uh, here's the key, it's a disc detainer style lock, so I'll show you this really quickly. Sorry about that, trying to figure out the camera angles a little bit. It's not easy, but you guys can probably get the idea there. It's pretty nice, as you can tell. There we go. So here's the key, insert it into the lock. It works very smoothly. Lock works great. You see, it is a key retaining lock. I'll show you. Very nice, remove the key. Alright, so you can also see that it's been very nicely machined here. There are no problems at all with it. Sorry. And um, it's not sharp. There are nothing, my fingers are not getting cut. So, uh, yeah, here's this thing right here. This is the anti drilling retainer ring. It is something that you're not going to be able to pry off with a screwdriver. I can assure you that. So, let's go ahead and try to pick it now. The tool that I'm going to use is a tool that I had modified a while ago. See this right here? Uh, sorry about that. This is a very nice tool. It is a tool that I got online. I had to modify it. I had to trim this by almost one half to trim the width of it. And I also used a hand file. And I had to uh, actually take it and um, hand file this area so that it would work a little bit better. So we're going to see if we can pick this Sobo padlock. Now um, show you the keys again. Looks like this. It's not very crazy. Actually it is pretty crazy. But like uh, nine discs on it. Not bad at all. Really not bad. And uh, yeah so we're going to go ahead and try to pick this. So most people like to zero it to show you that with another random disc retainer key that is not going to turn all the way, it's not going to open, so there are indeed discs in this lock. Alright, so I'm going to try to pick this. Uh, some people like to zero the discs, I don't really find the need to it, do that, so I'm going to see how well I can show you this. Hmm. So, let's begin. Alright, so... Let me insert the tool in all the way. So I apply pressure, I apply tension usually on this silver part. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can zoom out a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better. So. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and p try to see if we can actually pick this. So I'm doing this almost entirely by feel 
because I can't see what's actually happening because I'm trying to make it work for the camera here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just turning all the discs around until I feel it fall into its gate. Feel the sidebar fall into its gate. The true gate that is because there are false gates on this lock. You will usually feel them. Okay, and then what you do is you keep doing it. You keep moving the discs. Usually when it gets into the true gate, you will feel it. It will be very obvious. It will be a clunk, usually. And then it will be very difficult to try to move the discs. Move, move that disc afterwards unless you completely remove tension. Okay, so... Alright, so I felt it go a little bit further into kind of like a false gate. And so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and find a disc that is a zero disc, and then I'm going to turn this, oh, and there you go. That's an open lock. See that? So, I don't know how well you're going to see this. Hopefully you can see this very nicely. But, you see that right there? Ah, oh, man. Sorry about that, but like, there you go. It's an open lock. You can see I cannot really remove this tool at the moment because it is a rear tensioning lock. I have to close it back. See? And then turn it back. So there you go. It is locked. I will show you the key. It will still continue to work. And it is a fairly resistant lock to picking. It is a very nice one. So there you go. Sobo. Beautiful lock. It really is. So uh, yeah. Definitely recommend it for security. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's very solid. So, yeah, please keep your picking legal, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.